So, where are we going? To Carnes Orchard. Yes! We are picking apples today. It's our first day on the job. We did this two years ago. And um, you can see our shirts. They say Carnes Orchard. And we've been there, did the job, got the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we are excited to go back again, right? Yeah. It's one of our favorite jobs because we're going to be outside, going to be all together. Yep, we've got our boys with us today and we are going to go start the job. Okay, so right here I am picking the drops and these are going to go to, you know, feed livestock and things like that. And we've got the good ones and then we've got the ones that, th that bucket on the left is going to go to compost and this one is going to be bagged up to sell for people to feed their livestock. So I do that and then I dump this bucket into a crate and then refill it again and just go and go and go and go. Like I said, these are just the apples that have fallen on the ground. These are not the ones off the tree. Wow, what did you pick? Is that one going the compost or the drops? The drops. All right, put it where the drops go. That was a beautiful apple, wasn't it? Yeah. Yucky apple. Did you find a yucky one? Yucky. Yep, that's a compost apple. Beautiful day in the orchard. Some of these apples are humongous. This is a honey crisp. One of my favorite apples, but it's huge. I mean, look at that thing. Beautiful. Yeah, baby. Okay, never mind. You're not up to it. I was going to be like, uh, there's some apples down, way back there on your Okay, side. yeah, I'm not quite up to that point yet. So, so it, it varies by row. Sometimes, like, all of the drops are pretty much too bad. But this row, I mean, it's crazy. I've had two whole buckets of the good ones and that many bad ones. So this is a great row. What's going on up here? Having a squeezy pack? You helping your little brother? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. I'm in the part of the squeezy pack from the inside. <laughs> it's in the oh lid. My. Okay, so on this one, Trey's got the compost bucket, and then he's tossing them out to me, and I will put the good ones in the basket, and any compost ones he missed, put them there. And we finished the first tree in about two minutes. These are not on the trellises, and we got a little over a bushel of apples. You helping? Mm -hmm. oh. Great job. Now drag it over here. We're getting to work together as a family. That's something that a lot of people never get to do in their life. Of course, we've had to make some sacrifices, and it's not exactly easy, and maybe I won't be able to go every day. But today, we got to work together as a family, and that's priceless. We've been picking for like five hours, if you don't count our lunch break. And just to be honest, I'm pretty pooped. Like, I'm pretty wiped out. <laughs> now we're going to be picking up the ones that, uh, picking up all the crates that we filled today. So that's the next step. And we're gonna work a little bit of a shorter day today. Whew. Slightly shorter day. 
So I guess I'm the driver. Whoa. Gotta get used to this thing. It doesn't need very much brake. It like brakes itself. Yeah, that was Terry whistling at me, telling me it was time to move forward. <laughs> wondering why I'm making such a weird face. It's because I thought Trey was walking toward me, not away from me. Oh well. It was that last few minutes of load everything up and take it back to the barn and everyone was exhausted. Definitely going to wear like my rubber boots tomorrow because my feet are so Hello. No! Ah! Oh. Stop. <laughs> We're off to the orchard. You're not supposed to say it that fast.